Hello and welcome to this week's Power Engineering International Newscast. I'm Dermot Williams. In this week's newscast, E.ON says it has no alternative but to close down its state-of-the-art Irshing 4 and 5 gas units in Bavaria. Turkey suffers nationwide power outage. EDF awards Amic Foster Wheeler nine-year nuclear power contracts. And Emerson Process Management wins contract to automate new Polish coal-fired power unit. German utility E.ON says that it has no alternative but to close Irshing 4 and 5 gas-fired power units in Bavaria, citing mounting losses. What is one of Europe's newest such gas-fired power plants is scheduled for a 2016 shutdown as conventional power continues to be relegated to the sidelines in favour of renewable energy, which is priority access to the grid. Germany's network regulator as well as grid operator Tenet have been notified of plans to shut down the plant's units, which have a total capacity of about 1,400 megawatts. Under German state rules, operators cannot unilaterally close plants as they may be deemed necessary to secure network operations and must notify the regulator 12 months in advance if they wish to shut down a unit. E.ON spokesperson Marcus Nitschke told Power Engineering International the company cannot speculate whether they will be requested to keep the units open. He added that running the Irshing plants beyond March 2015 would be agreeable if there was a proper market design in place. The operators also added that if the, op clo if the closure plants were blocked they would have to consider leak election, adding that that was a last resort. A transmission line fault has resulted in power outages in 25 Turkish cities and parts of 44 of the nation's 81 provinces, local media has reported. The fault occurred at 10.36am on Tuesday morning. The Energy Ministry said the problem was with the main distribution lines and, and is thought to have originated in the Aegean region. While local media reported a large explosion in the western Kojeli province, these reports have not been confirmed. Kojeli is one of Turkey's industrial centres and several factories there have reportedly halted production due to the blackout. Public transport in major cities including Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir, Antalya and Adana have been disrupted with Istanbul's metro and tram services also halted and passengers evacuated. Istanbul's traffic lights were also out causing traffic jams in the city centre. The cause of the fault is still unknown with Prime Minister Ahmet de Vatoglu saying it is considering all probabilities, including terrorism. EDF Energy has awarded Amic Foster Wheeler with a contract worth up to £15 million a year to provide project management services to all of EDF Energy's UK nuclear power stations. The nine-year agreement is one of the largest project management contracts within the UK nuclear power industry. It's welcome news for the company who recently announced a $100 million year-on-year -year profit drop they had blamed on falling oil prices. Their services will be deployed at the nuclear stations at Dungeness, Sizewell, Hunterston, Tarnas, Haysham, Hartlepool and Hinkley Point. Finally, Emerson Process Management has won a contract to automate a new 910 megawatt unit at a Polish coal-fired power plant. Under the terms of the $76 million contract, Emerson said it will serve as the main automation and electrical contractor for the new unit at energy supplier Tauron's 1350 megawatt ultra supercritical power plant in the city of Javartsno. The firm said it will provide comprehensive design, engineering, installation, commissioning and startup support services. The unit, expected to be commissioned in 2019, is designed to meet EU emission targets and its output could provide 5% of Poland's power needs. That's all from this week's PEI Newscast. Tune in next week, but until, until then, keep up to date with daily stories on our website and LinkedIn group.